Hi, I'm Casey with eMart, and welcome to our instructional series. Today we'll be going over the Photo Studio Backdrop Stand Kit with the muslin backdrops in white and black. These are the pieces that come with your package. Two 45 watt bulbs, two backdrop support stands, two muslin backdrops, two clamps, two light stands, two soft umbrellas, four backdrop clips, two lamp holders, two reflective umbrellas, one carrying bag. I've laid out the pieces in front of us. Although you can do this with one person, for time's sake on our video, I'm gonna invite Ryan to come and join us to help me assemble. Ryan's picking up our backdrop support stands. These backdrop support stands have wing nuts. This is important to tell the difference because there's four stands in your kit and two of them will have wing nuts on top. These wing nuts top stands are for your backdrop. So what we'll do is set them up as we would any support stand. We're going to pop the legs, make sure you've loosened it all the way to the left, apply a little bit of pressure so you have a nice flat surface, and then tighten by turning to the right. And then you'll also turn this lever to the left to allow for the adjustable height. This overall kit can reach eight and a half by 10 feet wide. For this first part, we're gonna set it up at the five foot, which is the second portion. Your two crossbars will have silver button end and openings on the ends. The largest opening will be for your screw right here. So we're gonna deal with the smaller holes for the beginning. Just as Ryan just did, you'll hear a click. You insert the two smaller ends, Push down the silver button until you hear that click. And now, looking at the larger holes, this will be the side that we put into the screws after we loosen the wing nuts on top. And then I'm just going to secure it by tightening it to the right. These stands are lightweight and yet very durable. It's the aluminum alloy that allows for very easy assembly. So what we're gonna do next is align our open hole to our silver button. We're gonna push through by applying a little bit of pressure to the silver button and just wiggle it gently into place until you hear that click. That's letting you know that it's secure and ready to go. Next up is our muslin backdrop. If Ryan will help, we're going to undo one of the wing nuts to slip on our backdrop. And I'm gonna show you just how that's to be done. Today we're gonna to use our white muslin backdrop. The muslin piece is of solid one material. You'll notice once you get it open that there is a hem all the way across. Keep on going until you get to a sleeve. And by sleeve, I just mean a material like this. This is what we're gonna slip onto the entirety of the pole. So Ryan's lifting up the pole and we're just gonna slide this all the way on. And then we'll just replace it back onto the pole. We also have our two clamps. This will help us secure our backdrop to make sure that there aren't any wrinkles or unwanted lines. So I'm just gonna tighten and secure our backdrop with these clamps. We're gonna turn all of our knobs to the left to make sure that they're ready to be adjusted and then raising up the top portion to as high as it'll go and then tightening to the right. As you can see, our stands can accommodate an eight and a half space by 10 foot space. However, the muslin backdrops provided in this kit are six by nine feet wide. So let's adjust our stands to accommodate the backdrop. This is easily done. You'll notice that we had four light cross beams that we connected together. We're simply gonna remove one of the segment of the cross beams. I'm gonna undo the clamp. Ryan, please, thank you. Move our backdrop over a little, and we're just gonna press on that silver button again. And just push it till the two bars separate. Ryan, will you come and hold this end for me, please? Absolutely. Thank you. And next, I'm going to push down this silver button and wiggle out this segment. Thank you so much. By moving the two stands closer together, we'll just align them. The hole here 
and the silver button here. By pushing down the silver button, and I heard that click, lets me know that it's secure. Next is our two umbrella lights. The umbrella stands you'll be able to identify because they do not have the wing nuts on top. We'll make sure this one's pretty loose already, but if it wasn't, you would just turn it to the left to make sure that it would loosen. We'll push for a nice flat surface, and then we'll tighten by turning it to the right. These also have clasps that we can open to adjust the height. Ryan, if you would please. Thank you. Now we have our light stands in place. Let's go ahead and grab our lamp holders. I'm gonna make sure that everything is moved to the left so that it's ready for our adjustments. Removing the top and twisting to the left as well to expose a screw underneath. You'll wanna keep this at a 45 degree angle when securing it onto your stand. First, I'll tighten the bottom by turning it to the right. Then I'll secure the angle by turning the second highest knob to the right as well. I'm just gonna twist in our bulbs by turning them to the right. There we are. And now for the umbrella. You just click until you hear the pop. When putting this in, we already have turned it to the left to make sure that it was open. But now I'm just gonna push down through the hole Till we're about halfway down on the pole. This will allow for your light to all be caught underneath the umbrella because you don't want any light to spill outside of it. So once we've secured it here, on the other side, you can see a turn nozzle. And we're just gonna turn that to the right to tighten this umbrella stick in place. The next step is to plug in your lights. So here we go. And to turn on the unit, I simply press the on button located on the back of the lamp holder. It's just that easy. And next are backdrop clips. There's four of these attached in your kit. You'll want to open the Velcro and you'll see a line of other Velcro. On the pole, we're gonna fasten and just slowly secure it to itself until we get to the leather tip. And then as tight as possible, secure the leather facing towards your photography unit. The rest of the clips themselves have adjustable expanders. This is on the longest setting, but I can, by squeezing in, pull to the shortest. But for this length, I need the longest. Leaving the clip right here, I pinch together, and secure the backdrop. There's additional clips that you undo the Velcro. I'm on the next section of the stand and I secure it to the pole portion of the stand by wrapping it around in a clockwise fashion. I get to the leather tab at the end and as tightly as possible I secure it while moving it forward. This will give you a nice matte finish. I lengthen the adapter and attach it to the backdrop. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to message them below. And we'll see you on the next episode. 